everyone and welcome to Miss Estric Biology and in this video I'm going to be talking you through how you can use notes effectively for your revision. Now with it being the new year so many of you are in a brilliant mindset of how can I improve, how can I make the most of the time I've got left and study resources and for that reason I have been getting so many DMs from people on Instagram about how you could use my notes to boost your grade. So I'm going to be talking you through how you could use my A-level notes or your own notes to really maximize your grade. Just like all of these students did last year who also got my notes, followed my advice and they ended up really improving their overall A level biology grade. So let me talk you through exactly how you could use my notes to help you get an A or an A star. Number one, one of the big things that I recommend you use my notes for is in your lessons. So you can avoid all of that frantic note taking that you have to do in the lesson where you might feel you're falling behind, you're not writing it down fast enough and because you're writing things down you're not actually listening to what the teacher's saying or you're not able to engage with questions. So I highly recommend that if you do get my notes, print them out and take them to your biology lessons. For whatever topic you're doing, have that set of notes in front of you. And because I've created these notes, as a teacher for 13 plus years, knowing what I tell my students every lesson, the notes should pretty much cover whatever your teacher wants you to write down. Now do check with your teacher that they're happy for you to do that, because I don't want to get you in trouble if you're then going to say, I don't need to write anything because Miss Estrick said so. You do have to check with your teacher first, because they might have certain ways they like you to do things. But I do recommend have it printed out, and that should mean you don't have to write down notes or hardly any notes in the lesson. And instead, as the information comes up on the board or as the teacher's talking to you, it's simply looking for that information on my notes, highlighting the key points or just annotating extra things that the teacher says. So that's really good for anyone that struggles to write and listen at the same time. Particularly if you're dyslexic, this is a brilliant trick to help you in the lesson. So you can focus more on the information rather than struggling with all of the information being written down in the time available. The second way that my notes can help you get an A star is you don't have to make your own notes. I've created these notes based on my 13 years plus of teaching experience of marking students' tests, looking through exam papers, looking through mark schemes, so I know exactly the key words, key phrases that repeatedly come up. And I've put that into my notes so that you don't have any excess waffle, it's all to the point, what is on the spec, key terms in a box on every page and highlighted on every page as well. So you don't have to make your own revision notes, just print out mine and use those. And in doing that, you are gonna save hours, absolutely hours of time that you would have spent passively writing down notes. And by passive, I mean you're not actually testing do you remember the information, so you're not actively improving your memory. So instead of spending hours writing your own notes, you can use mine. Now, if you do like the idea of notes and note taking, then you could still have an element of this. Print out my notes and then maybe use your textbook or my YouTube videos to just annotate extra to it. And then you've still added your own twist on the notes, but without spending hours. And the reason this is important is to improve your memory of all of that key information, you need to be doing active revision or active recall. So things like flashcards, testing each other, blurting, exam questions. And if you were spending hours writing notes, then you run out of time to do all of that valuable active recall. And you need to make sure you've got time to do exam questions as well to improve your exam technique. So using my notes enabled loads of students to do that. And that was a big way that they rapidly improved their grades and their results. Number three, the third thing I recommend that you use my notes for is if you don't already have flashcards, so for example my flashcards I have on the key marking points for all of the key terms in A level biology, if you don't have flashcards already you can use my notes to create your own flashcards. So on every page I've got the key words and key terms in a box. You could then take all of those key terms and turn each of them into a flashcard and if you do that for all of the pages in my notes you've got a full set of flashcards for your A level. So pick whether you want to use something like Anki or Quizlet and then you can make your own digital set of flashcards using my A-level notes. And flashcards are a brilliant way to test what you can remember, what you can't remember, and repeatedly using the flashcards will help improve your long-term memory of the facts, which is essential for A-level biology, because there are a lot 
lot of facts to remember. Number four is to use my notes as part of your blurting. And if you don't know what blurting is, this is a revision technique where you have a blank piece of paper, or it could be your iPad or tablet, whatever you might use to write on, and you give yourself a topic. So let's say enzymes. You would then give yourself five minutes to write down or draw everything you can remember about enzymes but you can't use anything to help you it's just purely your memory when the time is up you could then use my a-level notes to see here's something you need to know on enzymes and compare that to your blurt what you managed to remember and anything you didn't remember you then have a look for my notes add that onto your blurt in a bright colored pen so the idea of blurting is you then repeat that same topic blurt in maybe a week or two weeks and the more you do it the less you forget each time until eventually you should be able to blurt and remember everything so you can use my a-level notes to fill in the gaps of what you forgot during blurting the next thing i recommend you use my notes for is specific for my AQA notes so not for the OCR ones because you don't have an essay but AQA you do have an essay and for that reason at the end of every subtopic I have got a yellow box that says essay links and that is basically telling you for everything that was covered in that subtopic here are the potential synoptic links to other parts of the theory that you could use in an essay so if you struggle with that part of the essay writing for a-level biology knowing how you can link one topic to another and explain why it's important i've done that for you in my a-level notes already so there we have it if you want to improve your a-level grade and save yourself time those are the five top tips i'd recommend that you use when you're using my a-level notes to help you boost your grade just like all of these students have done over the last couple of years to help them go from c's and d's up to b's a's and a stars using my resources and in particular my a-level notes which are my number one bestseller that students absolutely rate so if you do want to get your hands on a copy then make sure you click down in the description below so that you can start improving now